These are modern Christmas lights. But they're a little bit bland compared to the old school giant fire hazard bulbs. Sure, you can get imitations, but it comes at a price. So, I made my own. Pretty happy with how these lights came out from the 3D printing to the wiring to just the overall aesthetic on the wall. They're actually hanging on the hooks I've used for my Stranger Things project uh, for the past two years. But I talked a lot about the 3D printing process uh, in my this month's 3D prints video for November. Uh, I'll link that uh, at the end of the video in case you want to take a look at that. Uh, but basically, you know, we've got this was just a layer change. Um, right at the base of the bulb, so then the upper part could be in the different colors. I stuck with the classic red, blue, yellow, green. Uh, I think it gives it another aspect of the classic look, along with this lamp wire that I found on Amazon that I'll link down in the description. It has a nice fabric uh, covering outside of the cord. Uh, and since there's lamp wire, it's nice and stranded. I basically cut the wire into equal lengths uh, so that they would all be spaced evenly, uh, and I did like a test fit by uh, kind of threading the wire up into the lamp so that I'd have an idea of what would be the right distance. And I have a lot of play down here at the bottom down to the barrel jack that I soldered in uh, just because I wasn't sure on the spacing to a plug. And if I don't want to have them on this wall where there is conveniently an outlet right underneath, I don't have to. Soldering for this was a little bit time consuming, but uh, I wanted to take my time and try to make it as neat as possible. Uh, basically, I started by soldering uh, a resistor directly to a 5mm uh, white LED. After I got the resistor soldered up to the LED, uh, I put some heat shrink on there, leaving a little bit exposed so that I could solder up to the lamp wire. Uh, since I cut them into sections, basically I was soldering uh, two pieces of wire to each um, anode and cathode on the LEDs. The wire is basically daisy chained together between the LEDs uh, and I felt that was the easiest way. I considered stripping wire out uh, kind of in the middle so that I wouldn't have to cut it but that just seemed like it was going to be rough since it has the fabric coating. What was nice about this wire is uh, one side has black insulation and the other side has white insulation so it was really easy to keep track of which end uh, was positive and the other end was ground. So pretty cool. The end of the lamp wire is then soldered into a pretty heavy duty uh, DC barrel connector uh, and then the power supply I'm using is a 5 volt 2 amp DC power supply, uh, the one that Adafruit sells. So although I, I took a lot of precautions and heat shrunk everything, everything like that, uh, I wouldn't necessarily leave it plugged in unattended just because I, I just wouldn't, but it should be okay since you're using the lamp wire and it's only 5 millimeter LEDs, but if you remake this just be careful. Once I had everything wired up, uh, the th printed bulbs have a little bit of a hole uh, for the 5mm LED to fit right into. Uh, I tried hot glue at first, but the um, the plug portion of the bulb made it so that my uh, glue gun couldn't uh, get down there properly, so I ended up using some E6000 glue on the actual um, bulb part of the LED and then kind of coating it in that and then inserting it into the 3D printed part and that worked really well after laying it set up. Uh, put it this way, these have been hanging up on my wall for about a week uh, and nothing has given way. So yay E6000 glue. So this video is out a little bit later than I had hoped. I've been working on this project since probably about mid-November, uh, but hopefully uh, you can have a chance to print some of these out if you want to, or uh, maybe save it as a project for next year. Uh, I think that the bulbs actually look as nice without uh, any light happening with them too. So if you don't want to go through the wiring or you just don't feel like dealing with that, you, I think they make great uh, just decorations on their own as well. And they're really easy prints with no supports, which is always Super excellent. But that's gonna do it for this video. I'll have a write-up for this project uh, at some point. Uh, the file for the bulb will be up on Thingiverse. Um, and yeah, it's uh, gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, consider subscribing for more content like this. Uh, happy holidays. And until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY. i been getting a lot of comments. I say my channel name way too fast, so I'm trying to slow down. You have to bear with me though, I'm from Boston.